Good morning, vloggy vlogsters. You can probably hear my husband in the shower. It's Monday. Um, we've got a ridiculously, ridiculously busy pre-Christmas week, to be honest. Um, but it's a pretty exciting one, fingers crossed. <laughs> Good stuff happening. But it's also it's Friendsmas this week. It's just one of the things. Usually that'd be like one of the things would be enough. Um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. There's not that much going on today. It's Monday. I'm on client site. OOTD. So here we go. I'm in my Clark's boots, woolly tights, pink ASOS skirt, grey H&M jumper. Hair's still pretty pink actually. It's lasted really well this time. It's Tuesday morning. I'm just allowing myself a moment of complete festive overwhelm. <laughs> We're like, we're near, we're gonna be okay. Like it's all gonna be fine and it's all gonna happen. But I'm just at that point where like one thing has gone wrong and that's meant that my finely tuned plan <laughs> for how we're gonna fit everything in every day between now and Christmas because I feel like pretty much every moment is scheduled between now and Christmas. Um, yeah, it's only one thing. And if we can rectify that tonight, which I think we're going to take a divide and conquer approach on the jobs tonight to get it done. It will be fine. Oh, we just had one of those little moments and we don't even have kids. How do people with kids do it? I said to Dan, I was like, I feel if I could just take the day off work today, I could get us back on track, but I can't. I've got to work because Christmas really wouldn't happen without the pennies. Um, oh yeah, it's fine. It's, it's an exciting week. We have exciting things happening, hopefully. But yeah, yeah. But basically the downstairs, downstairs in our flat looks, basically last night's mission was to get everything straight and get the flat like tidy because we've got everyone coming around for Friendsmas on Saturday. And we're doing Friendsmas early because of the, uh, we're doing it like three o'clock rather than in the evening to uh, accommodate the spring arrivals in the uh, Jess and Beige and Chris and Linda household. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, just means we won't have a lot of time on Saturday to get stuff done. Thank God, thank God, thank you previous, like I'm so grateful to earlier in December me who did all of that food prep. Because that was a hard day of food prep, but if we hadn't done that I don't know how we'd fit everything in, we wouldn't. Um, yeah, I haven't got any food for us for Christmas day apart from that, but I mean We've got a turkey on order, we've got cabbage, we've got gravy, we've got cauliflower cheese. So to be honest, we'd be fine. Just buy a bit of cheese, be sorted. <sighs> deep breath, deep breath. I know like, I know everyone feels like this at this time of year. I know I always feel like this at this time of year. And I know I look back on Christmas and it'll be fabulous. And actually we've got quite a chill Christmas planned. So if we can just, just get through to like, it'll be that moment on Christmas Eve evening, which I relish every year where suddenly you take a deep breath and everything's done and it's just Christmas and I can't wait because I already know I'm not gonna be able to wrap my presents till Christmas Eve again because I have no time. Right, I'm talking about how little time I have and I'm lying on the bed in my pajamas. Working from home today, let's, let's deep pajama and put clothes on and then I'll OOTD, I'll show you what downstairs looks like and then I'm gonna get on with work. It's all cool, right? It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all fine. It's all fine. <laughs> I'm also very aware that I had like very real life problems earlier in the year and these are not real life problems. So why am I so stressed now? <laughs> I don't know if I'm just a person who just deals better with like I think as humans we're just wired to kind of just like crack on and deal with real crises and then the feelings all come out when the like not so real crises happen. <laughs> much, much later on Tuesday uh, I just cracked on with working and completely forgot to show you any of the things I was going to show you. Um, OOTD? It's like working from home but make it festive. PlayStation Christmas jumper. Uh, Grey jeans are ASOS, ASOS Farley's obviously and I've got some very festive socks on which I'm not sure really match the rest of my outfit, but you know, they're good. And then my husband has gone to Ikea 
to swap some broken Ikea parts. This is obviously just the time of year for it, isn't it? This time last year, I was feeling very similar about Ikea, um, but hey, and then the rest of my flat looks kind of like, it's actually, I had a little bit of a tidy up, but it still looks pretty horrendous. Uh, it's just stuff everywhere. And then the hallway is also just literally full of boxes, like the entire hallway. In fact, when Dan got home, he couldn't get in through our door because of so many boxes outside of it. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm not showing you those because they're covered in my address and I can't be bothered to like turn them all over. So you can't see my address. Uh, oh, right, okay, I've tidied it up upstairs. I'm gonna tidy it up downstairs now whilst Dan is doing his Ikea thing. And maybe at some point this will start to look slightly more ready for Christmas. I just posted a picture this morning when it was in its full, full, full horrendous state. Um, just sort of saying like, oh, Insta-perfect, I'm ready for Christmas. Because we're not. But we will be, we will be, we will be. Okay, stop vlogging, carry on tidying. It's eight o'clock, the night is young. Young, it's like a tiny baby of a night. Oh God, I'm rumbling, right tidy. Wednesday. Oh my god, so many jobs last night. So tired. So tired. Still not there. Really I feel like we got the, the exact right amount of things to do before Christmas. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, off client meetings, etc, etc. OOTD. Gone wintry cosy. Warm office chic. That is my new term that I'm coining. Um, Bowden boots. Snag tights, just having new snag tights delivery actually. They're amazing, I love them. If you're seeing them online and thinking, should I give them a try? I would recommend. Um, this dress is collective, it's a couple of years old now. It's like flannel, it's really warm. I've got a thermal <laughs> top from Uniqlo underneath. I think the belt's top shop, earrings are accessorised. That fit also has to do me for Christmas dinner tonight with um, some family friends who <laughs> I used to see really, really often when I lived at home. Um, and now I'll probably see once a year for this Christmas dinner. Um, so it'd be lovely to see them and all the, <laughs> I read it. Dan was like, should we just cancel? Because we really have got a lot to sort out. Um, you'll see why later in the week, why we have a lot to sort out. Oh, I'm such a tease. Um, plus Friendsmas. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't want to cancel because otherwise I just won't see them until next Christmas probably. So anyway, gotta go, bye. Work done, Christmas meal done. Lovely, lovely to see family friends. Just got home. It's not even that late, it's half 10. That's a flattering angle, isn't it? I'm so tired, I'm so tired. I need to go and take my makeup off. Jams on, bed. Got a busy day of Christmas jobs ahead of me tomorrow. Is this the world's most boring, moany pre-Christmas vlog? Possibly. Oh, I've only got one earring in as well, because one fell out in the car on the way home. Night, night. Day, job, day. It's a pre festive job, day. Turkey pickup, eye test, various errands make the place look somewhat habitable for Christmas. Um, and Friendsmas, which is Saturday. Yeah. OOTD. I am wearing today a um, red dress from ASOS. It's got stars and moons on it. Uh, white Revolt trainers, some ASOS kind of off-white tights. Monkey, big chunky cardi, and it's coming out. I'm getting the Elmo coat on. Not worn it yet this year. It's a thing of glory. Who doesn't love a bit of red faux fur? First up, a test. supermarkets down apparently no one's getting their fresh turkeys in till tomorrow but I'm working tomorrow so won't be able to pick it up till tomorrow night and tomorrow night's too late to prep it to cook for Saturday because it needs to brine for over 24 hours okay third supermarket wish me luck also on the side alongside this I've been trying to track down my mom's Christmas presents for me because she's been really upset because she's not been able to get hold of Hermes and uh, I've now managed to get hold of Hermes via Twitter um, and they've lost my Christmas presents which I'm like A, a bit sad they've lost my Christmas presents but B, more sad about how upset my mum is about it hey. Oh thank goodness Boom! Food! Finally! More jobs! The little reward is someone's done all the jobs and once Dan gets home from work 
we're going to see Star Wars. Really, really don't want to go out in the rain, but gotta go to the post office. Yeah, it, it's very wet out there. Cabinet built. Just need to get rid of this one now. It's a little clue that I realised I'm wearing all the stars to go see Star Wars. And that's where we go in now. Friends best food shop pickup. Friday night. Not as glam as last Friday night. My husband has been aging eggnog for three months. He's just sampling it. I'm a bit dubious of the old egg, to be honest. <laughs> I love you and I hope that you're still with us tomorrow. Potatoes are parboiled and goose fatting up in the fridge. And all of the things that you saw us uh, food prepping a few weeks ago, apart from the cake, that was more recent, are all defrosting nicely. It's Saturday, it's Friendsmas Day. Dan's gone out to buy prawns because despite planning prawn cocktail, talking about how much we like prawn cocktail, checking with everyone that they liked prawn cocktail, and um, we didn't actually buy stuff for prawn cocktail, um, so he's gone out. Um, table is getting there. Just need to get some more stuff off the shelves and finish washing some glasses. Um, this is a just, yeah, chaos disaster. Tidying this at the moment. Need to do something with that corner, get the cage out ready for our arrival tomorrow. That's really told you what's going on, isn't it? But I don't know why I'm being so coy because by the time anyone sees this, it will be on Instagram anyway, like for weeks probably because I'm so behind in my vlogs. Anyway, tidying, tidying. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's gonna be okay. We've got a schedule for cooking. It's all gonna be all right. Um, yes. It's Sunday, Friendsmas was glorious as ever. Um, it was really, really lovely to see everyone. Um, yeah, just fabulous. Food was excellent, compliments to the chef, i.e. my husband. Um, we're now on a very exciting road trip. <laughs> uh, we just, he's not been the happiest at being in the car just stopped at the services so that Dan can go and grab a coffee because he's not happy that he's not happy and just settled him down he's gone to sleep try and get home in one go now whilst he's sleeping you're so cute best Christmas ever who's a little cutie where's he where's he crusher I'm busy looking at daddy where's his first brush Not sure. Will we'll be fun doing this every night? 